Today I fucked up by really going at it orally on my wife. So like many others this didn't happen today, rather it happened a few weeks ago and I'm finally able to talk about it without crying laughing. Okay so my wife 35F and I, 31M, have been married a while and we have a couple small children. So sex isn't too often but when we get it, we get it. So this time was like many others to begin with. I put the kids to sleep while she tidies up downstairs. Finally once they are asleep we get into our room to do what we used to do best. We do some warm ups and get into our favorite four play positions the infamous 69. Thought to myself you what tonight's her night. While I usually get her off one or maybe two times this way before go for the big show, I figured what the heck, I'll give it my best shot and see how many splashdowns I can get kinda set record or something. So she usually stops me around 2 and we change things up a bit but this time after 2 she just let it keep going. Cue the fuck up. I did what I think I do best and she had shaky knees and toes curling and tummy muscles going crazy in that craziness of her orgasm while my face was right there nose down. She squirts and farts at the same time. And I mean this fart was a croaker. A loud duck just entered the chat. I stop in disbelief, and start counting my eyelashes. She's laughing too hard by now to tell me anything. I also start laughing because come on, fucking funny, if you're not me. I make jokes about how the weapon should be cleared properly before it's pointed at something you're not ready to kill. Blah blah. So yeah, there it is. I still think it's a hilarious story to this day. Too long didn't read, I ate my wife out and on her third orgasm she ended up farting almost directly into my nostrils while 69ing. Be glad it was only a fart. In my case, well I think you get the picture lol. No fucking way bro. Are you okay? You want to sit down and have a beer with me? I would love to hear this story. As soon as I got to I started counting my eyelashes I let out the loudest cackle and 10 tenths woke my neighbors up. I feel your pain somewhat. Had a similar occurrence but I was lucky enough not to be 69 and just going down. But I felt the hot wind from the devil's door rustle my beard hair as it passed. I nearly died from the smell initially then from being unable to breathe from laughing. Thanks for the story. Ha 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 that short paragraph is arguably better and funnier than my story. Ha ha. I did this to my husband while we were still dating and came so close to crying from embarrassment. He says it's his crowning achievement, smiley face. I'm crying laughing oh my god thank you for sharing. Hey man I was too but mostly from the methane in my eyes. Today I fucked up by not changing my preschooler out of his pajamas for almost a week. We were handed down a lovely two-piece set of silk pajamas for my preschooler. It's mostly blue with shimmery iridescent patterns and smooth. My son looks like a little prince of Persia wearing it. We all like it, and call it the Happy New Year pajamas because that's when we presented it to him to wear. Needless to say, it's heavily used in our current rotation. With the pandemic and ongoing stay-at-home orders, we We've been getting lax with changing him out of pajamas for the day, and putting on the same pair after baths, making sure the pajamas were still clean or washed and immediately used. Earlier this morning we had a Zoom call for a language and learning experiment, which finally prompted me to change him into actual clothes. To my horror, everything that I tried to put on him ended up being too itchy, presumably because they weren't silk and smooth. Had to pull out the big guns i.e. the wife dressing him while I shoveled apple cinnamon oatmeal down his gullet, in order to finally get clothes on through tears. The wife and I jokingly discussed converting his wardrobe to silk and dismissed it as completely out of our budget. We're just going to face down the silk pajama use. Too long didn't read, let my kid get too accustomed to wearing silk and now he is a hypersensitive princeling. Everything not silk feels like sandpaper. Edit, it turns out that he is engaged in a growth spurt. Lots of uncharacteristic temper flares, which are quickly addressed with feeding today. He is hoping that once the growth spurt goes away, so does the clothing sensitivity. For the curious, here's what we've fed him today, a packet of apple cinnamon oatmeal reconstituted with milk, a granola bar, three quarters of a Costco sized hot dog sausage, no bun, three quarters of an Asian bear, a grilled cheese sandwich, 
no crust, 6 Costco sized meatballs, about 1.5 volume of IKEA, another granola bar, a handful of jelly beans, 2 marshmallows, and a clementine. His teenage years should be fun, read, expensive. That is a hilarious awkwardness to have created for yourself smile good luck. Managed to get him into a t-shirt and some smooth, non-silk, track pants so far. Still refusing any sweater, hoodie or other type of overshirt. I have a 3 year old daughter and I could definitely see this happening to her. Kids that age just become creatures of habit so easily. My nephew loves the feeling of satin so he has satin sheets and a pillowcase. Maybe you could try satin sheets for him to get his princeling fix, smiley face. Prepare for him never wanting to leave the bed. I have the same adverse relationship with my brown hour days. Since I am a sensible adult I do wear it when in virtual meetings or going out but it feels strange and is uncomfortable as heck. Ever had that issue a year ago when I wore it all day, smiley face, crying face, had a child with sensory issues. Have you taken the tags out of his clothes? That solved a lot of our itchy issues. Inside out clothes solves many issues. Tags. Eames. This kinda happened to me. My mom worked in a cotton mill where their end product was very high end sheets. So she would always bring home the seconds growing up I always slept on sheets that were insanely comfortable. Now I can't sleep on regular sheets as they feel like sandpaper. Pisses my wife off when a set of sheets is dollar 200 plus. You know, I think I might be at a point in my life where I should look to buying dollar 200 plus sheets. Today I fucked up by coming while making eye contact with my girlfriend's dad. Today I fucked up by coming the precise moment that my girlfriend's dad looked me in the eyes. As always, this didn't happen today but about two or three years ago. It was around my senior year of high school, and I was at my girlfriend's house. I would go over to see her at her parents' place on a nearly daily basis because at this point in our relationship, we were both fawning over one another pretty hard. Additionally, we were having sex on quite the regular basis. Kind of like rabbits, if you will. Normally we would hang out during the day and retreat to the basement around 8 or 9, and after her parents had gone to bed, our sex marathons would ensue. On this fated day, however, we got just a little too brave. It was around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and we had been laying on the couch watching friends when she started feeling around on me down there. Obviously my hormone riddled body responded readily to her touch, and before I had the time to mentally prepare myself, she unbuttoned my shorts, tugged them down, and started going to town. To this day, that has to have been one of the best BJs I've ever received. Friends was playing in the background, and I was certain her parents couldn't hear anything from upstairs, so I let myself relax to thoroughly enjoy the experience that my girlfriend had decided to gift to me. Having the time of my life, I slowly edged towards climax, getting closer and closer to the point of no return. My body tightened all over, and I realized that I was on the razor's edge between being able to stop and losing all control over what was about to happen. In this precise fucking instant, I heard the door at the top of the stairs kerchunk and swing wide open, its creaky hinges sending a chill all the way down my spine. Now an important thing to note is that the stairs descend into a small hallway that opens up into the basement living room. Living room cannot be seen until one has reached the end of the hallway. Knowing this, I desperately began to try to make optimal use of the precious time we had left. I whispered my girlfriend's name and glanced at the stairs with worry flashing across every feature of my face like a damn neon sign. She stopped moving up and down on me, but kept me in her mouth, and turned in order to shift her attention to the stairs. This was the straw that broke the camel's back. Or, to put it more accurately, the suck that busted the nut. Footsteps echoed to us from down the stairs, through the hall and I realized that I had reached the point of no return. I whispered her name again to try and alert her of what was about to happen, but in an instant, she popped me out of her mouth, tugged my shorts back up 
and flopped forward, landing on my chest in a cuddling position in one fluid motion. The most MLG moment of BJ history, to be sure. I was trying desperately, harder than ever before, to revert the process happening within my body. Pressure was building to dangerous levels, for I had never in my life surpassed my limit to this extent. It may have been an entire second that passed, or it may have been less, but her father rounded the corner, and I realized that I either had to come now or I was going to die in a giant explosion of semen. Looking back, I can't say which choice would have been the best to make. My eyes met her father's, and the combination of fear, edging, and immense back pressure resulted in the most intense orgasm I've ever fucking had. I blasted shot after shot into my shorts, quivering under my girlfriend and the blanket and whimpering silently into the side of the couch. What you guys doing? He asked harmlessly. My girlfriend responded, just watching friends, as I tried desperately not to look like a man who was coming violently in his shorts. Don't you ever get tired of that show? He asked before grabbing a beer from the fridge and returning upstairs. My girlfriend sat up saying that was way too close. I responded feebly with a moan, and she got up asking me what was wrong until she looked down to see that I had fucking ruined my shorts. The entire left leg was sopping. To this day I don't know if he knew that I was coming when he rounded the corner but I'm guessing that the experience probably made me about 10% gayer. And to be honest, I'm okay with that because it was a dope ass fucking nut. I miss my shorts though. I had to throw those away. Too long didn't read, my girlfriend's dad walked in on me receiving a blowjob from his daughter, and I came when our eyes met. Yes it was awkward, no I don't know if he knows or not because my girlfriend is awesome and reacted quickly, but unfortunately I lost one of my favorite pairs of shorts forever. Dude you'd have to have the best goddamn poker face in the game to look a man dead in the eye as you whimper and blow several loads into your shorts without him realizing. He probably knows Lamau. I don't think there's any way that he firmly grasped the full gravity of the situation. There was a similar one I read some time back only difference was GF stad opened the door making eye contact at the same time she popped him out of her mouth. Dude proceeds to blast his GF's face and hair while staring directly at her horrified father in the doorway. Oh fuck no. I'd literally kill myself, crying face, crying face, crying face, crying face, crying face, crying face. It would have been funny as he said, friends, which episode, oh, that's my favorite episode, and then sat next to you. Are you and the GF still together? If so, can't wait for the possible dad of the bride speech at the wedding. Please record and update. We are still together. I sometimes wake up in the middle of the night drenched with sweat dreaming of exactly this.